Greetings and welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. Sometimes video is the best way to deliver information and uh, such as YouTube here, but also in presentations, in situations, and sometimes display even forces you to use video, uh, such as on TV, for example, that doesn't read files. Today, I will show you how to convert a PDF file into a video. So this is what we are going to do today. So let's get to it. So here is a PDF file that I would like to convert into a video. So I can share it with colleagues. I can have it on Twitter in platform that doesn't support documents. So how to do that? There is actually more than one way. Before it becomes a PDF, this was a PowerPoint presentation and I have already explained how to convert PowerPoint itself into a video and so I can put that link to, to that tutorial uh, down below and also in the cards above. So that is one way to do it. But now I have this PDF file, it's not a PowerPoint file, that I would like to have as a video. So what I needed to do there, they are more than one option i only focus on two options one of them is to download because if you have the reader only it does not convert it into images so one way is to convert the file into single images and then you combine those images into a video as you would normally do uh, the second option is using um, an online service that will convert the file from pdf into video so let's start with the first way. Here is a software that is free. It's called PDF Mate PDF Converter. Basically, you can download many, many actually software that will convert PDF into images. Here is one. So I could just select the file that uh, that is PDF and then convert those files into images. Here's an image. And so, you know, this is what I need to do. This is where the destination folder where the images are going to be. And that's it. You just click convert and it will be converted in no time, depending on the number of slides and the quality that you wanted. So that is one way to do it is to have these PDF pages into images. And then once done, you open the folder and here you have all your images. You basically then, as you can see, it is sorted page by page, whatever the content of the uh, folder or the uh, PDF file is. They are all going to be there. So once you have converted your PDF file into images, it will be arranged according to the pages of the PDF file. In this case, 32 pages and all the images here can be edited. You can delete some of them. For example, if you don't want to include text, you can delete this text file. If you don't want to include graphics, you can do that too. You can also update and change and modify it because each single image is an image that can be edited in any software. Okay, so that can be done. Uh, additionally, you could also, um, and then after that, you can highlight all these images and you can create from a video from, from them. So if you right click in Windows 10, you, uh, you have a create new video uh, as an option. And so uh, that's one option. And of course, after you edit each image, you can also here go here and uh, and say, you know, I would like to have uh, create a video with music. You can use 3D effects. You can do whatever you want with them. But create a video will create a video uh, will take you to the native uh, video editing app in Windows. And here you can add all the images and then you export this file here as a video in any quality that you would like so every version of windows would have this available uh, obviously you can also have the same images done on an iphone or in, in your tablet on any other software that will create or convert images into video so this is one way to do it okay the second and more direct way you don't have to convert into images if you wanted to convert just a pdf file right into an mb4 or a video file you just go to this website that's called onlineconvert.com and you go to video converter here and you choose the format that you would like to convert to there are many formats right here so uh, it's, it's very simple and then you choose the file in our case is the pdf file 
so it's not this is the file that i just converted there it will be uploaded and then once it is uploaded it's going to be um, you can do the settings to convert the file into a video from pdf to a video as you can see it is very quick process doesn't take time however you have to be aware there is a limitation to this you can have a maximum of 100 megabytes of file for the free one if you wanted the full version or larger file than 100 megabytes then you have to buy uh, the subscription plan that they offer for that but most of the files are actually less than 100 megabytes as you can see this file is full of images and still less than 5 megabytes so you should not run into this problem at all there are certain presets here if you wanted um, high definitions uh, file you know you can do any settings that you would like of course the larger 4k for example the you know the larger the file size is and also it will take more time uh, depending on the quality that you choose so uh, for this uh, purpose it's good to highlight that if you ask you have special needs but for me no presets is fine you can also here make any changes and any type of editing that you would like to have included in the audio or the video for me i'll just go for the default so it will start converting once the file is uploaded and you just have to wait for the process to be completed right here it's already there and so just takes a little while um, not too long but it takes time depending on the file size the number of slides that you have and the quality also that you are asking for here's my file just finished it didn't take long at all it's just one minute even though i post that i post the, the um, the video a little bit and this is mb4 and you will be able to see it right now i will just put it there along with the image file so it will be easy for me to find it but here it is so you can see here you can upload it to icloud you can download a zip you can also re-download it but it downloads on its own so there you go here it is our file as a video and now it is playing in it's really um, good quality I would say okay so finally if you would like to make some changes to the video that you have this is my video now playing the one that I just converted from PDF file all you have to do is just go here and you can view you can trim it of course right away you can trim it here you know you can change it uh, to smaller larger uh, file and in uh, Windows here you can just uh, in this one just here if you are interested you can do that okay. so for me i don't need to do that um, want to trim it. you can also draw on it by the way and do all kinds of things but you can actually now it's like a dull video what i need to do is just view it in voto unfortunately um, windows is confusing Windows 10 especially. When it says photos, it means photos and videos. You can actually edit both the video and the video. Now this is the video. Um, now it's open in the photos app. Okay, here where you can actually make any changes. You can trim it, you can add slow motion. You can like slow it down or something. You can save it as photos. We just converted it from photos to video. So I don't think we need to do that. You can add uh, draws. If you are drawing in the file, you can do that too. So you can like um, do anything you want with it, any kind of drawings you can do here. If you are interested, you can do that. Um, you have a variety of options here. You have the pencil, you have the pen, you have the razor, of course, to delete all the things that you have done. So that's an option there available to you. You can also add a few things like add 3D effects. There are 3D effects here that's available to you. For example, um, I don't know, you could have probably uh, all in leaves or something as just an effect for example so you could see it you can also have have a video to show you the, the, the effect how that effect works so um, um, you could uh, probably test it well so there are a whole bunch of things here um, for the uh, 3d library and you can download even more so you could just add anything you want like for example i don't know if you were dinosaur forever 
in Oman, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to have that as well. So, uh, uh, you know, you can do that. Uh, you can, as you can see, you can download um, anything and you can add effects to your video. So that is one thing um, you could do. You can also have, of course, as usual, uh, you can create um, a video with text. Um, and that would take you to the same video editor that we saw before. Um, but here we have the video instead of the audio. Here you can add background music. The whole bunch of music here are available to you. Okay, so there you go. We'll add that music to it. Um, we don't need to do any customization actually. That That's good enough. But if you are interested, you can do it here. You can do, of course, um, narration or any recorded pre-recorded audio file applied to apply to this video once you're done you just go finish video and then you also same thing save it wherever you want in your um, hard disk or um, wherever you want um, you can of course review it as well with the music if you added music to it so um, for me let's, let's add this file. and let's see how it sounds But now it has. Um, that's what it was about. Okay, so there are, there's a huge ton, tons of options. Basically, you can see here the title cards and a variety of things with it. You can change themes too. You know, if you are you have used this before, it's it's great. But you can add more things to it. So here you can have um, a theme, you can have a title, you can have a whole story, of things added to your video. There you go. And then once you are done, you just go ahead and save it. It will save it with all the options, including the, all the effects that you had, all the filters you had. If you are interested in filters, they're all here. Okay, so um, that also is there. Uh, you can add the speed. If you think it is slow, slide by slide, usually five seconds, but you can go faster, of course, and uh, finish the video in no time. So all these options are available to you. Okay. So that's basically it. This is how it's done and this is how you save it. The basic idea is to convert your PDF file into a video. As you can see, we have done that. Okay, so we are basically done. We have converted our video or our PowerPoint into a video using the images and also using the website for online conversion. You can also, of course, convert it to a variety of formats as well in that website. I hope this was useful to you and it helps you create videos from all of your documents, actually, not only PDF, but this is the most common file formats that usually is available and you would like to use or you receive somewhere with pictures or images or, or anything that you would like to have as video it will be more versatile you can use in a variety of ways okay I, if you find this useful please like it and also subscribe to the channel if you find it useful please also share it with others so we spread the good all around the world take care for now and have a great day goodbye